Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show how to enable TR87 and configure the security setting on the AES server for integration with Avaya Aura Contact Center or AACC. The TR87 interface on AES is used by AACC to control and monitor agent stations on Communication Manager. So the TR87 SIP CTI control must be enabled on AES for integration with AACC to work. Also, a security setting for TR87 to require a trusted host entry must be configured. I will demonstrate how to perform these steps on the Application Enablement Services, or AES, server. You need to be logged into the AES Management Console. For this demo, I am already logged into a lab AES server. The blur in the upper right corner is to protect the server's IP address. To enable TR87, click on Networking in the left pane. Then click on Ports. Then scroll down to the DMCC Server Ports section. If the TR-87 port row is not enabled, then click the circle to enable that setting. Ensure that the port field is set to the default port number of 4723. If a different port number is entered, then change it to 4723. Now click the Apply Changes button. A confirmation page will appear. There will be a warning message that the changes will only take effect when the AES server restarts. Click the Apply button. The ports page will display. Again, scroll down to the DMCC server ports section. Verify that the TR-87 is enabled and the port is set as 4723. Do not restart the AES server yet. First, we need to configure a security setting. To do that, click on Security in the left pane. Then click on Host AA. The system displays the host authentication and authorization page. Now click on Service Settings. For the TR-87 row, click on the checkbox under the required Trusted Host Entry. Then click the Apply Changes button. The confirmation window will display. Click on the Apply button to confirm the change. Confirm that the checkbox under the required trusted host entry for TR87 is checked. If you have any additional AES configuration changes to make, then finish those updates. When you are finished, restart the AES server from the Maintenance Service Controller window. This concludes the video on how to enable TR87 and configure the security setting. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor or on Twitter at AvayaMentor.